Hey guys, this is EC Service Tech, and today what we're looking at is fan relays. Alright, this one right here is an 8 amp fan relay, and this one right here is a 12 amp fan relay. Alright, so I'm going to take this off for now just so I can show you the 8 amp fan relay. Alright, you find these a lot in uh, units that don't have control boards uh, and fan coil units and things like that. Um, what you have here is you have your numbers on the side. So your wiring diagram is right on the side here. And it says one to three is your coil voltage, all right? So this has a coil inside and works very similarly to a uh, contactor, all right? So one to three is your coil, all right? So you can test resistance on the coil in order to check to see if it, it does have resistance value. If it does not, then this component may not be any good. All right, now it says from two to four, okay, is normally open but five to four is normally closed. And that's when you have the power off to the unit and the power off to the component and the wires isolated off of the component, all right? So make sure you don't have any back feeding of the wires of the control board, all right? So it says two to four are normally open, okay? When non-powered and four to five are normally closed. So we're gonna go ahead and test that out. First things first, let's go ahead and test our resistance on our coil, all right? So we're going to test from 1 to 3. All right, we have 91 ohms of resistance. Okay, so if we had 0, 0 0.0 ohms of resistance, all right, then that would mean that that coil is all burnt together. All right, and if we had OL, oh well, then that means that that coil is burnt apart. All right, but right now we have 91 ohms of resistance, and that is good. So now we should have continuity or resistance from from four to five, okay, which we have, that's good. Now four to two should be normally open and that will be OL, which is correct, all right? So now we're gonna go ahead and apply 24 volts to one and three and we're gonna test these out because what should happen is the normally closed four and five will then become open when you apply power to the coil and the normally open four to two will then close when you apply power to the coil, which is one and three. All right, so here we go. Here, okay. And we should have continuity from two to four. All right, which we do, all right? And we should not have continuity or resistance from four to five, which we don't. Okay? So that's how that's done. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the transformer to take the voltage off. All right. Whenever possible. I usually replace 8 amp fan relays with 12 amp fan relays because if you look on the inside of these, the contacts, you know, if you can have the contacts good for another 4 amps, then why not just for, you know, the extra dollar or whatever it costs for the component, all right? So you can see this is the coil right here, all right, and this is the, con the sets of contacts. So these contacts are normally open, all right? And these two are normally closed. And what happens is these two open when power is applied and these two close, all right? And that would be the same thing as it says right here on the side. Right here it says one to three is our coil voltage, okay? So one to three, that's this one and this one. So we can check for resistance. from one to three, all right, and we get 76 ohms of resistance, all right? And it says that two to four, okay, is normally open. So when the power is not applied, two to four is open, okay? And that's what it reads, it says OL right there, okay? Five to six is normally closed. All right. 
that may have to do with just how hard I'm pushing down. But that should be normally closed. All right, there you go. So we're getting a good resistance reading of 0, 0.0 ohms of resistance. It's very important to make sure that your tips of your multimeter probes are sharp because you know, in the field, some of these contacts are going to be rusted and you want to kind of pierce down into the metal a little bit. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and test this out and see what happens uh, when we apply voltage to it. plug it in. Now, two and four should have continuity now. Okay. All right, which is about 0, 0.0 ohms of resistance. And then you got five and six should be open. Which is it? All right. So this 12 amp fan relay is good. So that's that. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.